So once you're in the app, you will face the dashboard. So first of all, at the top, you will have your calorie and protein goals. Depends on your goals, if you're trying to lose weight or gain muscles, this will be different for every individual. Also, there will be other goals like your habits. As an example, steps 7,000 a day and water at two liters a day. If you press over here, it will open up conversation tab. We will be able to have a conversation. So discuss if you have any questions and things like that, you can add it over here. So just, you can type your message, add the photos or anything if needed. The next one, we're going in the middle tab with the kettlebell and that's your workouts. So once you're going in, you will see the choice of different workouts. Let's say we're going to press uh, day four. So you have breakdown of the workout, so make sure you read through that so you know what you need to do. Once you go down, you have the exercises over here so you can see the demo. So if you press over here, so you can see the video of the exercise, but also it shows what you've done your previous workout, the weight, what the reps you've been doing. If you haven't done this workout yet, that will be blank. But once you completed this workout, you will be able to compare with your previous results. So next time when you're doing, you either can increase the reps a little bit or increase uh, the weight. Press on full video, you have the example of the exercise. So you have the video demo of the exercise and you know what you need to do. At the bottom, you can press start now, so that will start the workout. And once you're going through the workout, you just need to fill in the blanks. So over here is five sets of 20 reps. Over here, that's what been done previously. So you know what you've done previously, so you can, depends on that, you can either increase reps increase sets or increase weight or progression. Once you completed everything, you can either save it or if you have extra time, you can insert exercise. So if you're doing some finisher or extra work, you can add it up to this session. You can insert exercise and search push up. You can add it up, go back, so over here we have three sets of push-ups so once you saved it it will give you an option of uh, choose the difficulty or how you found this workout if you go in on three dots that's open up the menu you can change the picture if you want you can see your badges how you're getting on with your workouts your nutrition and steps and things like that if you scroll down you should be able to connect your apple watch Apple Health app, Fitbit, my fitness pal, so that can be integrated and connected to this app so you don't have to do it manually. So that's pretty much it. So fairly easy to use and straightforward app. Once you start using it a little bit more, you will get the gist of it very quickly. So you should be able to use it to track your workouts, your progress, and also your habits as well.